Black faces in high places are not gonna save us. Just look at the black woman's hand, ambassador at the UN voting against a ceasefire in Gaza. That is, our blackness and our womanness are not in themselves trustworthy. If we allow ourselves to be conscripted into positions of power that maintain the oppressive status quo, our blackness and womanness are not themselves trustworthy if we support the occupation of black neighborhoods with so-called better trained police or remain silent about the genocide of oppressed peoples around the world funded by our tax dollars. For student activists speaking out courageously for Palestine and Congo and Haiti and to stop Cop City, they should not be threatened with expulsion, loss of scholarships, or, or have public safety called on them for protesting. Too often our institutions celebrate student activists after they've graduated. even giving them honorary degrees. But stifle student activism while we are enrolled. To close then, as we turn our attention to the founders of Spelman College who dared to dream beyond the oppressive systems that sought to limit their opportunities to limit their imagination and crush their spirits 143 years ago. Let's also time travel in the other direction. Opening a portal 143 years into the future to the students and faculty and staff who will gather in, in Sisters Chapel in the year 2167. We are, after all, their ancestors. So then, what kind of sister ancestors are we going to be? Successful and compliant? Or purposeful and courageous? That is, we are our descendants' wildest dreams. Each of us has the privilege and responsibility of answering that for ourselves, honestly and joyously. With that, thank you, thank you, thank you for this incredible honor.